algorithms are pervasive. They control every aspect of the internet. Journalists have a moral obligation to, um, to help the public understand algorithms. They can um, start developing some digital savviness with um, data, with APIs, uh, with programming techniques, because I think this is a really essential aspect to being able to understand algorithms and be able to reverse engineer them. The way your child gets assigned to a school, probably an algorithm at work. Um, the way that um, you get assigned a seat on an airplane, especially after you've been bumped from a flight, definitely an algorithm at work there. Um, so um, they, they can call them out and then they can call up the company and ask for accountability. In some of my research I found in reverse engineering algorithms that the best way to get uh, organizations to open up is to go with some hard data and say, hey, I've done some analysis of your algorithm, uh, this is what I think is going on, and then you see how they respond. And, and uh, if you got it right, they'll, they'll sort of indicate that, and if you got it wrong, then they'll definitely want to try and correct you so that you don't um, spread something that might negatively affect them in the public's um, image. Discrimination is, is an important one, looking for ways in which algorithms are being used to differentially um, you know, give someone a service or uh, define a price for something. Um, so that's one dimension. I would say digital redlining is another. Uh, if you're looking at things like um, welfare, are there algorithms that are potentially denying someone a service uh, that, they, that they should have? Um, I think there's censorship stories that you can find um, if you look for them. One project I looked, on, uh, I looked at was um, auto completions on Google and Bing and what kind of words are being censored around uh, pornography or violence, which are two editorial dimensions that Google says that it censors on, uh, but we wanted to know the details of that censorship. Um, I think there's this issue of uncertainty and how accurate a prediction is. Um, what else? Um, you know, you can certainly look for um, access to services. I mean, algorithms determine um, in a lot of municipalities who has access to services. Algorithms determine where they put the bus routes, right? And so whether that algorithm works or not um, is, is of significant concern to a lot of people. Um, so um, really, I mean, what, what every journalist needs to be doing is looking at all of the systems and infrastructures that they cover on their beat and start asking, hey, what algorithms are you using and how are you using them? And especially if it's a government, that should be public information. And so you should be able to get at that information and then, fee and then hold the government accountable. But also, you might be able to tell the community something that they didn't know about themselves. So there could be, I mean, it's not just like, it's not just like where the algorithms are hurting people, but they might reveal stuff that we don't know, we haven't been able to surface about ourselves. And this is one of the, one of the genres of stories that I've seen emerge recently is sort of these, you know, the, the reporter is sort of poking in different ways and it might not be totally formal or totally data driven, but they're, they're kind of perturbing it. They're seeing, well, what if I treat the algorithm this way, what changes? And I think that also is a way to humanize things and put yourself in the story and sort of talk about how that algorithm reacted to you in that environment.